Hello everyone, Dokiller here, and welcome to another Dalek Mod video in Minecraft 1.8. So this video is going to update a few videos that I made in the past, mostly my uh, Dalek Statues video and my Dalek Companions videos. So, those videos were made quite a while ago in the public beta release of, my, of the Dalek Mod for 1.8, and... That was, yeah, quite a while ago, so as of update 40, there are some big name changes with the Dalek mod, and you might have noticed it makes it no longer possible to use the entity data command on Dalek mod mobs. Now, in those videos, I use the entity data command quite a bit, so you might be wondering how you can still do what I show you how to do in the videos and get it all to work. And I can tell you that there is a way, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. I'm going to show you how you can completely bypass the entity, entity data command to still do what I show you how to do in those videos without using it, because it no longer works now. So, first off, I'm going to show off how you can use the entity data command on the pink fluffy Dalek here. So I'm just going to run it, entity data, at E. And then we set the type equals here, so we target the Dalek. And originally, we'd say DM Dalek base. And then we put in a radius so we don't target every Dalek in the world. Then I'm going to open and close some curly brackets and leave them blank so it should just return his entire NBT structure. But as of update 40, as I said, there's a name change, so we now have to put the Dalek mod in here. The Dalek mod dot DM Dalek base. And if we run that, ordinarily we would get the NBT structure, but when we do run it, we get an error that says the UUID is in an invalid format. So that's because of this name change here. And so, as I said, you can't use the entity data command anymore. So, we are going to bypass the entity data command completely so that we can still do what I showed you how to do in those videos. So, we're going to need, to need a command block for this. And we're going to set up the summon command. We're going to summon the Dalek mod dot, and then your mob name. So, I'm going to go with the gas mask zombie. Like that. And put in your coordinates. I'm going to put them right above the command block here and we're going to say no AI colon 1 there we go oh, that needs to be capitalized too okay and that's this is what I I hit the wrong button let me set that up again colon 1 there we go okay so that will summon a mob statue and that's how I would start the command in the uh, other video. And from here, I would use the entity. We would use the entity data command to continue to edit this entity and add further and further little tags to him. So, since we can no longer use the entity data command, I'm going to show you, as I said, how we can bypass that. So we're going to keep the summon command in here, and then we're just going to add on to it. So the entity data command will edit entities as they are already in the world, the summon command will bring them into the world as is. So we, if we're skipping the entity data, entity data command and just using the summon command, we have to put all the tags in here all at once. So everything that I would otherwise show you to use in the entity, entity data command have to be used in the summon command all at once. So for instance, we would say the silent tag so that he doesn't keep annoying us. So colon one, we would put that in here. Um, the invulnerable tag we would put in here and we could add in a rotation first value doesn't work so let's just say the second value that should rotate his head and then you can keep adding as many tags as you want to in here again anything that would we would use in the entity data command can just go into the summon command but it has to be done all at once so once you have that command set up you should now get a statue that is how you want it so I think I misspelled rotation. There we go. So, if... and that is still wrong. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. Okay, there we go. That's right. So now we have our statue. He's been rotated, and I just noticed the invulnerable tag is not working either. But I think that's spelled correctly. Anyway, that is how you can still use your, or still bring in mob statues or Dalek statues and do everything that I was showing you how to do them without the entity data command. Now you might be saying, but Doe Killer, I really want to use the entity data command. There's just one little thing I want to fix. Um, is there still a possible way to do that? And I say, yes, there is, but it is a bit risky. 
So let's say that the invulnerable tag actually did work on this, and he is a he is a proper statue, and you can't kill him when you hit him. So if he's invulnerable, if I hit him like this, he wouldn't be taking any damage. Then you might be going, well, there's no way of killing him or getting rid of him, and if, say you put something wrong in the command block, and you want to fix it, you'd have to kill the mob first and then do it all over again, and then resummon him. But if he's invulnerable, let's just pretend that this guy is, there would be no way of killing him. So, this is one of the times that you might have to use the entity data command, and so the one way of doing that is kind of simple. You set up the entity data command with the at E, you skip the type equals, and just go straight to the radius. And get as close to the mob as possible, use a small radius of about one or two, because now this command will be targeting every single mob in the world. And since you're not specifying a type. So keep a very small radius, make sure not, there are no mobs in the area, because it will, will target them as well. And then just change the invulnerable tag to zero, and that should make him vulnerable again, so that you'd be able to kill him. But I can't seem to be getting the invulnerable tag to be working right now. But if he is invulnerable and you want to kill him because you did something wrong or you want to change something, that is one way that you can do it. And that's one of the few ways I think you'd, or few times that I think you would have to use the entity data command. And that's how you can still use the entity data command, but I still recommend just bringing everything in at the summon command. And again, all those tags that I showed you to use in the other video can be used in the summon command, and they have to be used all at once. And that's how you can still get Dalek statues and customize them and rotate them and all that. And as far as the Dalek Companions video goes, you, I believe I show you how to use the summon command in that video, and the summon command should be in the description. So just use the summon command, and that should work just fine. The entity data command shouldn't be necessary for that. So I believe that's everything I wanted to say for this video. I hope everybody could follow that. And I will see you all shortly in another video with any luck. So um, I'll be saying good goodbye for now, everyone.